What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes, with Peter Pipes. Peter? Yep. Um, I quit. Why do you quit? I quit. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing YouTube anymore. I'm not doing plumbing anymore. HVAC anymore. I think I'm just going to collect welfare and live off the state. Okay, what that do? What that do? Why not? Why not? If President Biden can make yesterday transgender day, which is Easter Sunday, I might as well quit and live off the state. They got more money than I do. True. Right? April Fools! Got him. Got him. But not about the President Biden part. Yeah, he made yesterday Queer Day. He did. I'm not surprised. Queer Awareness Day. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware that he's royally effed in the head. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was my April's April Fool's Day opening intro. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is Monday, April 1st, 2024. We are heading to our next service call in Baldwin. Baldwin is on the south shore of Nassau County on Long Island. In the great state of New York. Ain't nothing so great about it, I tell you. Last, a week ago today, a New York City police officer lost his life to a career criminal who was carrying a gun illegally. The gun wasn't illegal. He carrying a gun was illegal. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. So a week ago today, our brave men in blue lost one of their family. A wife lost her husband. A one-year-old boy lost his father parents lost a child yet another casualty of these horrible horrible laws that are in place in this liberal state of New York how many more people have to give their life I don't know I don't know but we're on our way to Baldwin we have a customer who has a Badaris gas-fired boiler, and he's got no heat in one zone. Look at the water. Ooh, very nice, see? One of the joys of living on Long Island is that we're surrounded by water, since we are a long island. Oh, that's what she said. Oh. What are the All right, you want to turn the thermostat up for upstairs? Turn it on? Turn it on, yep. All right. Two zones, two circulators, SR502, two zone switching relay. Let's see if he turns that zone on, if that red light comes on. Nice Badaris. Logomax GB142. Roughly hot in this closet. It is very hot. Yeah. Oh, oh, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Circulators toast. Nothing. All right, Peter. Um, 
Here are the keys. Let's uh, get tool bag. We'll test power to the circular. All right, so let's start by testing voltage coming from the SR502 two zone switching relay. So right now, zone number two is on, and which is this, uh, sorry, zone one is on. So that's neutral and hot right there, which goes to that one, really. So that looks like it's that looks like it's going down. This is upstairs. Let's trace this out again. Oh no, I was right. All right, so let's just check our power. I'll hold the dude. Oh, you got it over there. I'll hold that. Cool. All right. So this one? Oh, this Zone one. one. And we have 122 volts. Okay, good. Now let's get a Phillips screwdriver, take this cover off, mm -hmm. and we're gonna test for voltage there. So there's our two lines coming in. And let's test for voltage there. You may have to shove it in there a little bit deeper. There you go, and then the other one. There you go, so we have voltage there, but we don't have good circulation. So let's Turn off the power. And she's blazing hot to the touch, by the way. All right, so now the power's off. Let's remove our L1 and our L2. Sorry, L1 and neutral. And let's test for resistance across these two wires. I swear, I, I, I made a perfect video, and then here I am putting it all together at the shop, and it cut off right there. Resistance was 200 and you saw it 30 something, and it should be nowhere near there. If you need help with the resistance, uh, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Circulator flange gaskets are in. All right, let's tighten these up. Oh my. 
new bolts. Good. Now let's set the ones on top. And before we tighten it up, we're gonna just get the pocket of air out of there. I'll show you how to do that in a second. There's that there. There's this one. Okay. Good, now. See? Get a pocket of air out of there. We use the wrench to tighten this up. Wrong way. That always happens. Always, without fail. Okay. So now that they're all tight, we got the pocket out of, of air out of there. We can open up the valves and check for leaks after we dry everything off. All right, I had to loosen them up and rotate the circulator. That way I could wire it up because I couldn't get the cover off because I didn't think ahead. So let's get a Wago on our neutral and let's get that in there. All right, in. I'm trying to do this one handed like an idiot. Here, hold that. <laughs> Right in there. Now let's just wrap this around. Shove that in there. Okay. Let's take the little cover, put that on there, and then we're gonna use a small flat, tighten that up. And let's put this back where it was. So let's open up the valves. Wrong way. What happened? Huh. All right, the phone overheated, so the flash stopped working. The light. Let's. Now we're circulating. All right, so we have hot water there. Here's the return for the top floor. That's getting hot as well. Here's the lower level. And that light indicates that we're circulating. Perfect. All right, another satisfied service agreement customer you know i've never been over here this is uh bay colony, bay colony. look at that i've never knew this existed it's a nice little yeah a nice little cut here in baldwin the water oh my god i can't imagine what it was like here during hurricane sandy oh